Here's the item that the United States Postal Service left on my French porch in the rain and I came home to put it inside my house. I don't believe I've ever had any items stolen off my porch. But just in case, I wanted to make sure. Here we go. Uh, does an air stone. So you can rejuvenate an air stone by soaking it in vinegar for 24 hours, and that will get the lime deposits out of it. However, if you go to take it off of a tube and you want to put it on another tube, uh, half the time it just breaks apart. So eventually it becomes necessary to buy some more air stones for your Aquarist hobby if you use them. I use air stones to hatch brown shrimp and also for my black worm cultures. I, uh, I purchased one of these for my 75 gallon probably six months ago to replace an old Emperor 300 I believe it was and this Penguin 350 does a pretty good job and it's nice and quiet so now I want to use now I want to replace the other old hang on the back filter on my 75 I have two of these going at once should provide more than enough filtration for a large comet goldfish and a South American bumblebee catfish. Here's what the filter looks like out of the box. It has two parts to the top. Bio wheels, they work real good as long as these bearings are good. Filter cartridges, I'll just set these aside. I'll maximize surface area for beneficial bacteria by inserting sponges into these compartments, of course. Here's the intakes. Some people like to use an extension on the intake and have this lever in case they want. I don't know why they would want to use that. Uh, some think that if you have this intake all the way down to the bottom, it is beneficial. I don't find it useful at all. That's what I use for the intake. There you have it. Installed. The one on the right's a new one. And they're nice and quiet.